Charlotte, with you around. Come on! Cool! Let's do it! Now it's right time! Shadow us! Doing too well. Stay strong. Give me some space. Heal round. Just when I need it. Over there. Hey, are you okay? You. Uh. Shulk, what's wrong? Another vision? Kind of. I'm not sure. But first, she needs help. You're right. Let's look for somewhere safe. There. I see a clearing under a giant tree. We can easily watch for anything approaching. Okay. I'll carry her. She hasn't sustained any serious injuries, but her condition is far from stable. Do you know what's wrong with her? Her symptoms suggest ether deficiency. It's well known that Homs are strongly affected by ether levels in the environment. But I've never seen symptoms like this before. Hmm. A sudden drop in ether content in the surrounding atmosphere causes a reaction. Symptoms range from fatigue to nausea. But in this girl's case... What can we do? We're gonna need watertight ether crystals. I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from my rifle. Eh? You, you're gonna shoot her? No, silly. I'll fire them into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. Ah. Uh, that's what I thought. But the problem is the crystals. We can't just use any old crystal. They must be as pure as possible. This area must have a water source nearby. We should search there first. I spotted a waterfall a little way back. What do you think, Charlotte? Would a waterfall produce pure crystals? I can't think of a better place. Then it's decided. I'll search for the crystals. Hey, you're not going on your own. I'll be okay. I need you to look after the group. We're short on water, too. So I'll fill up our flasks. Hey, good idea. Take care, man.
Huh? Who are you? Hello there. Uh, uh, hello. How unusual. It is quite rare to see a Homs in this region. I... <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. Then permit me to introduce myself. My name is Alvis. Alvis? Um, my name's... It's Shulk. Isn't it? Uh, how did you know that? Wielder of the Monado, defender of Colony 9, the hero that has every mech on running. You're famous amongst all Homs. I know you from somewhere. They're here. Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. It must have drawn them. They can read your mind. Whether you have a vision or not, if they know your next move, it's all in vain. You... you know about my visions? How could you possibly...? There is only one way. Stop it in its tracks, then dull its perception. No, Albert! Stop! You don't know how to... Huh? A new symbol? That was amazing. I suggest you stop staring. The sword is yours to wield. What was that light? The Monado does not control itself. You control it. I... control it. By the light of the Monado. I will stop them. Let us begin. Monado power! Behold the power of the Monado! Feel my power. All right, I'm feeling it. Feel my Let power. It. Feel my yes. power. We can definitely do this. Yes. Cross ray. This is the Monado's power. Feel my power. Esla! Esla! Oh. 
See now, Shulk? Hmm. Thank you. Hey! Wait a second. More importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? <laughs> they were not the primary Telethia. Merely its spawn. The primary Telethia dwells elsewhere in Magna Forest. Is it... wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest, wounded by a girl. A girl? The Monado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence, of both the material and the immaterial. Alvis. How do you know so much about the Monado? Who are you? <laughs> 